Biggie, what is it? Haven't you done enough? <laughs> the pain, the punishment, the torture. <laughs> this was the exact song one ex Handy sang for Biggie after Biggie <laughs> mesmerized them with goodness this morning. Hey guys, how are you all doing? Welcome back to my channel. Do not forget to turn on the notification bell on steadily because here there is always just back to back. Mimi is never relenting one bit, okay? And do not forget to subscribe while at it guys <laughs> you know biggie heard my cry like he heard my call because i remember telling you guys that now wow big brother has changed that i remember then during the seagull bay season the double wahala season you know big brother would you know freeze the housemates and then use whipped cream on them if you're a fervent viewer of my channel you would remember not even quite long i have complained about this i'm like Big biggie has stopped all those shenanigans that, that he does that actually got us the viewers laughing and Biggie heard us. We know that Biggie has kind of been strict with the housemates this week. You know, Biggie has been coming for them in different ways. Be the harsh tone and everything. In fact, talking about harsh tone, guys. Yesterday, while those housemates were with their, they were doing their credit tax, that tax um last night. When Biggie said, "This is Big Brother, guys," I was scared. I jumped. <laughs> the voice scared me. <laughs> I think you need to calm down with that voice, I beg. So, guys, this morning, Biggie blessed the housemates. Biggie asked the housemates to freeze, you know. And then the ninja came in, coming with whipped cream and to call, you know, spill, spill on the housemates' body. I have been waiting for such moment. The last time I experienced this was the double Wahala season. That is, if I'm not mistaken, if not even the Seagull Bay season. I did not think the ninjas did it. Did they do it on the, uh, sorry, the, what was it called? Mercy season. What was that season again? The Pepper Them season. Did they do it then? anyways guys um so yeah biggie um the ninjas came in and then they decorated your fifth body with whipping cream like you know <laughs> and then short face was not funny when they were actually pouring that on his face wani um i think wani was trying to fry something i don't know but when they came it was so interesting to see and i really hope your faves they actually maintain their bodies in freezing if not i hope they learned their lesson about the punishment they got her to stand on the whole i hope for like two hours before biggie freed them so um the ninja came and decorated them you know with whipped cream sean's face uh, it wasn't funny like after the ninja finished decorating them some people got more some of the house made their own was well designed like fully very well like it was more than others i don't know whether some ninjas are having personal beef <laughs> Even Suj was opening mouth to take whipped cream. You know, even TJ was licking his whipped cream. Like, ah, let me lick it. You know, actually, it's sweet. I prefer whipped cream on my cake than um, normal icing on cake. That's what I prefer, especially on red velvet cake. Yes, that's my favorite with whipped cream. Yes. So, um, Big Brother actually did this. And I'm not going to lie. If that thing was spread on my face, I'll lick it. I'll lick it, lick it. You know, let's see some of the reactions on the social space before we continue on the gist at hand. Okay. Um... Coffre says, so Onye Kagema is to tell us, say Nigerian, that we have 24 geopolitical zone. And Wani looked into our faces and said, the most exported agricultural product in Nigeria is crude oil. It's all right. Biggie, I beg, bully them. <laughs> Prince Afalabi says, Omo, no be small matter. Anyway, I love this program. I love the program too. Like the show is really getting real. Like it's, I'm loving this this week. Let me not lie. I love the way Biggie is giving us content. Yes. Biggie said, should be you, there's this house to now decide not to give us content. Oh yeah, I'll give the viewers content. And that's what Biggie is doing. Biggie is making sure that we are thrilled. Yes. Okay, let me read this from Miss Pretty. Ha ha ha, Sean, sorry. You come to BBN to chop rice. Biggie, never start with you guys. Ha 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 ha. Kelly Ray, do free people, do free because the money is married, period. Oh wow. This must be a Kelly Ray fan. Okay, this one says, tough owl. Sean was boiling. I'm telling you, that guy, I think he has temper. I've seen him countless times react to things ninja seven seems to like nelly and anita because he really did suj and tofar bad <laughs> well how have you like bicycle and then ae says the show is actually getting more interesting they should keep it up yes they should Big Brother is trying to, you know, bring things to get, get the show going, you know, because the hospital are really not giving it to us. Biggest ninjas do, 
Action Ben is definitely one of them, says Ricky. They are causing trouble again. Housemate freeze. Wani frying things. I hope she's okay though. No, she's fine. She doesn't have a choice than to be okay. Biggie's house, Biggie's rules. Have you guys forgotten? All right, that aside. Guys, you remember yesterday I discussed with you guys about um some of the shenanigans that transpired last night with the sheeps and how Victoria is the contest of it all now you know one thing i said something i said you know there are some things the camera do not show us and we can only speak from the angles where camera show us from do you know that nelly was actually not mad after all because i remember nelly said last night that suj was holding victoria and then when he saw her coming suj removed his hand and me not seeing that part because the camera did not show us i was telling you guys that oh we all watched it we saw how suj was removing white things on his arms and was not holding victoria guys we never knew that the camera when the camera showed suj and victoria was when um he has actually removed his hand and not from the onset when he was holding victoria guys do you know that suj confirmed it Suj was telling Tofa that I did, I hold her, or, you know, I hold her. So um, when I say she don't come, I now had to remove my hand. That was what Suj said. Meaning that truly, truly, Nelly was not mad after all. That's why I said, you see this thingy that camera does that some of us do not see them. Some of the videos, they tend to show us our Big Brother official page. I remember telling you guys, sharing with you guys, the first of um how um Onyeka and Suj, what Suj did to Onyeka, um, I don't want to call B, like her front side. Switch pressed her phone front side. And then someone is coming to say, Mimi, you are not saying, that. like, how would I come here to lie? Why? Why would I cook on this housemaid head? And I now went to Big Brother official page. You can go to their ex official page. I watched, there's this video they posted about the party. Watch from 12, second, um, 12 seconds of the clip. Onyeka touched these boys down middle, middle part. And you tell me that that thing is not deep flirting. What is that called? Hey, Wahala be like bicycle for you fans, oh. You people should leave me. I'm not in this. Your fans shenanigans with you guys are bare go. My own is to reveal what I see. Do you get? And what I think about what I see. Then if, you, if what I think about what I see is not what you think, you're free to say it in the comment section. Freedom of speech. But coming to call me a liar that I am cooking things up on this housemate is something I think that I found very funny. Because yo, I am the last person to do that. You might have gotten used to all those bloggers who do that, but Mimi Shirley Mimi is not one. Thank you for your understanding. Okay. <laughs> guys, please, you guys should not make me laugh. Okay, Ricky says, when he says Nelly's yeah, she's not balanced. People didn't believe <laughs> this thing is funny. Which one is Nelly's yeah, she's not balanced? Okay. People didn't believe her in that in the moment. She was dragged, but later on, people started seeing two fufu apart from each other. Hey, hey Ricky. Okay. When he said Suj is a playboy, she was dragged again. But now Nelly is now seeing it. Suj even confirmed to Tofa that the hand he put, which Nelly complained about, that she was right. He did put his hand on Vicky, but when he saw her, he removed it to avoid Wahala. Osuji is a better playboy and he knows it. Wani, what is it? Haven't you done enough? The pain, the violence, the torture. <laughs> Ricky is indeed a case. But truly, truly, um, we did not see that the camera did not show us that angle. That is to start with. The camera did not show us that angle at all. But getting to see it right now, getting to hear from the horse's mouth, we now believe that it is true. You know, so I am bringing it back to tell you guys that Suj did hold Victoria, and when he saw Nelly, he removed his hand. Wahala be like bicycle. Though we know the holding will not be anything personal, but you know, sheep thingy, they would actually take it personal. Now, another conversation that transpired this morning was Onyeka and um, um, her man, Ozi. So, Onyeka was telling Ozi that um, Sean, we saw the other time I shared with you guys how Sean was complaining that Onyeka is selfish, that Onyeka called herself his friend, and yet Onyeka do not really care about him and all of that. So um, that has actually got to Onyeka's ear because even one year Sandy discussed it with Onyeka. So Onyeka is trying to tell Ozi that Sean is complaining that the way I take care of you, that I don't take care of him the same way. And then she said, Outside the house, I can literally take Sean out. I can take care of him and do the things I'm supposed to do as a friend. But how will I cook for Sean in here when Wani is here? That was what Onyeka was telling Ozi. But Ozi was thinking Onyeka is taking it a different way because Ozi knows that Onyeka can be too much sometimes. But 
Onyeka was like, but no, he's really pained about it. And truly, Sean is pained about it. This one is not about Onyeka doing too much. Sean complained about it. So, and truly, truly, if you see, that is the truth. If Onyeka care for Sean, the way Sean is complaining, Wani would not find it funny. Wani would say Onyeka wants to take her man because that narrative was flying already before now. Wani was complaining how up close and personal Onyeka and Sean was before. So Onyeka is trying to retrieve her step and now Sean is complaining she doesn't care about him. At this point, I like the way she's actually, you know, even um, Ozzy told Onyeka that even outside, she also needs to be careful too, you know. To me, she should even be very careful because I'm going to forget it though. At the same time, um, the Onyeka fans are still coming for the Victoria fans because of Ozzy. At this point, it is giving Ozzy is the prize. Let me read this from Amarachi Equibelem. See Mumu for people calling Onyeka desperate. The difference is clear. Vicky was drunk but couldn't get much attention from Ozzy. Onyeka was drunk and Ozzy gave her 2,000, I'll be 20,000 attention. Even fed her on top, changed her clothes for her to bed and tell her my bed is your bed. Chai, I can see why you all are crying. If you see genuine connection you go know because it's not your furniture fave that's why you're crying onyeka the show omo hey it is how you people are carrying this ozzy thingy on the head like gala for me first off to start with ozzy have a good relationship with victoria and onyeka but one thing you cannot change for a fact is that ozzy is closer to onyeka than victoria why is that because they are like they started this family thingy ozzy oc onyeka and chizoba so they are quite close. So if Ozzy give Onyeka that preferential treatment, there is no big deal about that. Ozzy is closer to Onyeka than Victoria. But does Victoria, you know, follow Ozzy about? No ways. No ways. Victoria doesn't do that. I don't know. I, I don't know how people see this thing, but I see Victoria as a girl that the energy you give me, I would give to you. Do you know if Victoria is actually a girl who wanted to create drama, she would have been giving some sort of feelings, feeling as in adding up like giving Ozzy attitude because Ozzy doesn't you know Ozzy and Onyeka is always together but because that thing is not the drama she wants she's always cool anytime Ozzy laugh with her that's when she would laugh with Ozzy if Ozzy come and say hi she would say hi if they are gisting they are gisting you will never see Victoria forcing herself on Ozzy or complaining oh you don't get close to me or whatever no or because of a person I started beefing Ozzy never so that's one thing I like about her. But Starship will make some of you all see the truth and ignore it. And it is okay. Me, I have come to drop my two cents as usual and leave the rest for you guys in the comment section. Please feel free to tell me what you think about all of the shenanigans. Thank you so, so much for always sailing with me. Do not forget to subscribe and make sure your notification bell is steadily on. Bye for now, babies.